this is me, this is my iPhone, that's my iPad, and there's my 7D. And this is my adventures in nature. So here I am in the shadow of the Shard, and I've just spent the last hour watching and filming a male black red star collecting insects for its young. Obviously he has a nest nearby and the roof is a very, very important foraging habitat for him. Now this roof is not just sedums, it's a mix of native wildflowers and sedums, and it's got grasses in it, and it's a kind of a, kind of a meadow in the sky beneath the steel egotism of the shard. This male black red star, he goes away for about five minutes, obviously, obviously to feed the young, and then he comes back. He spends about five minutes on the roof, picking in the soil for grubs, picking off flies from the top of the dianthus. Spends about five minutes here. Then he heads back to the nest. I don't know what the female's doing. She must be feeding the young as well. Well, I decided to come down to ground level to see where this male black red star is flying to. And he's flying into a very large, half-built new development. Now, ten years ago, I had a bit of a reputation for finding black red stars on building sites and closing the building site down because the black red star is rare. And, um, this is kind of like going back to what I used to do, because I might have to see if I can get this one closed down. Now I've seen many black red starts on green roofs over the 15 years that I've been involved in, uh, in green roofs and, and black red stars. But this is the first time I've actually managed to uh, film them on a biodiverse green roof. It kind of sort of um, reaffirms why we need lots more of these green roofs in London and other cities. And whilst climate change adaptation, ecosystem services are very, very important, but bringing nature back into the concrete jungle is a good thing to do as well. And watching this Black Red Star today is just an indictment of all the work that I've been involved in.